If you're sitting, put your bum all the way to the back of the chair so that you're sitting nice and straight up with your head and neck aligned, feet flat on the ground. I invite you to close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing so. You don't have to. It just helps to minimize distractions and take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. I'm gonna ask you to imagine a really comfortable place, a place where your body feels so relaxed. It could be your bed or the couch, Remembering being on the warm sand or walking through the hills or mountains with the fresh breeze on your face. Notice how relaxed everything feels. Now we're gonna do an exercise with muscles in your body. So I'm gonna ask you to make a fist with your hands and squeeze your hands really tight as you breathe in and out. Now relax your hands and shake them out. And notice the difference between tense and relaxed. Let's do that again. Squeeze your hands like you're making a fist and hold it and breathe. and relax. Shake out your hands. Let's do the same with your arms. Squeeze your arms like you're making a muscle and hold it and breathe. And relax. Now bring your shoulders up to your ears and squeeze and hold and breathe. And relax. Oof. We hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders. I'm gonna ask you to scrunch up your face. Do like you're making a funny face. Scrunch up your face and breathe. And relax. So if you're sitting in a chair, I'm gonna ask you to lean back in your chair carefully and stretch, tighten your belly muscles and breathe and sit back up. Mm. Now we're gonna bend over the other direction and be careful that you're clear of anything that you don't hit yourself. So just gently bend over in your chair and just kind of gently hang your head, tighten your belly, breathe. Feel the stretch in your lower back. Let your head fall gently. Breathe. And sit back up. Okay, make sure you have room in front of you. Now you're gonna put your feet out in front of you. Point your toes towards the wall. Tighten up your leg muscles, tight, tighten up your bum. Hold it, breathe. And relax. We're gonna do that one more time. Put your legs out in front of you. This time, point your toes towards your face. Tighten up your leg muscles, tighten up your bum, hold it, breathe, and relax. Now I'm gonna ask you to do a body scan. Notice every part of your body from your toes, your feet, your legs, your torso, your arms, your neck, your back, your face, your head. And if there's any part of your body that feels tense or tight right now, imagine that that part that feels tense or tight is like a marshmallow in the warm sun. 
Imagine it slowly melting. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. I'm going to ask you to wiggle your toes, shake out your hands. And when you're ready, bring your attention back to the room and open your eyes. And just remember that the comfortable place that you imagined, that's your spot. And you can come back to that place anytime you'd like. I love the honest people who are saying, I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> yeah, it takes, it takes a while. Honestly, the, the beauty about relaxation exercises is that they're not one and done. They're really meant for regular practice. So if you can find some time to set aside on a daily basis, maybe right before bed if you're having trouble sleeping, there's lots of meditations you can access or you can count your breaths. But if you do them right before sleep time, over time, you'll notice a difference. I have parents saying that they have tears of joy right now. Yeah, they feel very relaxed. Beautiful. They feel yeah, very beautiful. light. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. You deserve it, mama, daddy, grandma, whoever it was. Thank you. Pain free. The antidote, the stress response is rest and relaxation. So please do not feel guilty. Please feel empowered to rest and relax. And if you're finding that you're taking more naps, it's because your body needs to heal and recover. And I do not ever feel guilty for any nap I take. I love them. I experience a group of people who say, that it doesn't help, at least the first couple of times. They tell me, oh, it's, I'm thinking, am I doing this right? Is this working? I don't think it's working. My experience is that if we just practice, after a while, your body will just get into it. So if at first it doesn't feel as natural or as uncomfortable, that's okay. I would say just keep trying until you start to feel the body relax.